KSL News starts now. The view from Shopper 5 this afternoon from the welcome home party for Mason Wells of Sandy. Good evening. Wells was one of the four LDS missionaries injured in the Brussels terror attack in March. He's been receiving care at the University of Utah Burn Center since his return to Utah earlier this month. News specialist Lad Egan and our KSL crew was there when he returned home. Lad, how's he doing? He's doing great. Uh, you know, uh, still a long road to recovery because of those severe burns and those shrapnel wounds. He he did uh, need to be in a wheelchair in order to get into the home today. And his father tells me there will be some additional surgeries to get him uh, fully recovered. This has been a long recovery already. He spent more than a month at the University of Utah at the burn clinic there. Before that, about uh, a week there in Brussels being uh, treated uh, by the emergency responders there. Today, though, was a day of celebration. A crowd here gathered in Sandy of friends and neighbors to welcome the 19-year-old home. Very excited. He, when he got out of the car, I asked him, you know, if he ever thought that this would be his missionary homecoming. This is what he had to say. I'm just really thankful for all the support people have given me. It's been incredible. So, you know, these people, they've all been supporting me. Our friends coming, they've been great. So a big thank you to anyone that supported us. And you know a lot of these people here, what it's like to see your neighbors and your friends? It's really weird. It's surreal. <laughs> but it Saying it's surreal that to see, to see a homecoming like this, the, the tree lined with family and friends and yellow ribbons and balloons. And uh, Mason Wells, no stranger to being close to, to danger. In 2013, he was near the Boston Marathon bombing just a block away. His mom was running that race. And then during his mission, there were the terror attacks last November in France. So technically, his third experience being very close to a very dangerous situation. Today, though, in talking with the family, they said coming back from the hospital, he wanted to make a pit stop at Wendy's to get a little American food, maybe sick of the hospital food, uh, and had some Wendy's on the way home from the hospital. So a very happy day here for the Wells family as they can now care for their, their son here in their own home. That is a happy day and a good sign for the Wendy's visit as well. Lad, just <laughs> wondering, interested and concerned about the remaining missionary that's in the, in the hospital, Elder Norby, who was the uh, older missionary. That is correct. The senior most missionary, Elder Richard Norby, back at the hospital as well. The, the last of the four to still be in the hospital. And earlier this week, I talked with Drez Empey, and he told me very concerned about Elder Norby and that they spent a lot of time with Elder Norby and his wife as they were a very uh, couple full of wisdom there for the missionaries to lean on. And they say a lot of prayers going out for a quick recovery for Richard Norby. All right. Well, great to see the welcome home today. Thanks, Lad.